So if your lawnmower is doing this, we're going to fix it today. The first thing we need to do is take this off right here. Put something off in there and keep draining all your gas out. Next, you want to take your gas tank off. 3 8 uh, socket. If you look off down in here, this is the part we're going to change. There's some play in it. Looks like there might be a little bit of play right here. I believe we can add a washer inside here to take that play away. But first we're going to try to do it just by replacing this. You pick one of these up on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Right here is a linkage. You need to put a 13 millimeter wrench on the inside and a 9 16 on the outside right here. Take this linkage off. Now that linkage has got a washer on it, so I went ahead and put the nut back on there so I didn't misplace that washer. Note this is very important. Move your steering all the way right there. So when you go to put this back, you can put it back in the same spot. But you need a mark because there's splines in here. And if you don't get this lined up right, you're going to be steering more to one side than you are to the, to the next. Yeah, your steering's not going to be right. I just scribed me a line right here to line up with that flat part right there. I went ahead and took the deck off to try to get those 916 bolts that are right here. Either side, that deck was just getting in the way too much. So I went ahead and took those off or took the deck off. So we're golden now. I want you to see how much easier it is to get to these four bolts. So there's three taken out and that one is the last one to take out and there's no deck in the way. See there? All right, next it's time to remove the steering wheel. You remove this too, two bolts. Think you just pick up. You just want to work your way out with it. Now we're going to disassemble this and replace that. There it comes. If you look down off in there, you'll see there's a bolt. Huh. It's a three eighths. you need was a little persuasion. Never force anything. Always get a bigger hammer. We got, that wind feels good right there now. Supposed to be having storms today. Make sure you get that tie, that bolt, because you don't want that bolt coming loose on you. Soft just a little bit. Soft by about two teeth. We're gonna put the nine sixteenths bolts back in. And put it on this other side over here. The washer goes on the other side of that. Put that right there. I'll put this wrench in here. Tighten this thing down. 
Next, we'll put the steering wheel on and the deck. Now let's put our deck back on. Now this part of the video might get a little shaky. You know, let the uh, lever down. When you let the lever down, it drops this. You see to put that bracket on. The next one is put these two together. And you got to pick up on the deck with one arm and line it up with the other arm. Uh, that one takes a big pin. Yep, the next thing is, right back here in the back, line these up and slide the deck over. Wiggle it. It goes on. Go to the other side and put your pin in. You need to go ahead and put your belt on the deck. Now that you got the belt on the deck, you need to come up here in the front, put this one in, put your pin in there. Next is this one. The last one is this one right up front here. Take it for a spin out in the yard, see how she does. I forgot she ain't got no gas in it. Slide this in there. Now we're going to just bow it back down and hook this back up. Well, I carried out in the front yard. She did great. No issues. Turned on a dime. Changed my oil before I carried it out there. Yep. So that was a, that was a good fix for it. Y'all uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Got any questions? Y'all have a good one now and you come back.